Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. I am so excited to be here with you for another Nature Nugget. And this week's Nature Nugget animal is so fun, and I can't wait for you to learn some fun facts about it. So let's jump in, shall we? All right, clue number one. This animal is the world's fastest land mammal. And clue number two, they don't roar, but they meow and purr. Hmm, what animal could this be? That's right. This week's Nature Nugget animal is all about the cheetah. So let's jump in and see what an amazing creature that God created for us. So what is a cheetah? Well, a cheetah is a smaller than the most of the large cats like the panthers and the jaguar. A cheetah is considered a cat in the family feline. Cheetahs are mammals, which means, that's right, they produce milk, give birth to live young, and they have fur or hair. Cheetahs are very slender cats with long and lean bodies. Cheetahs also have spotty coats and long stripes on their face. They have the signature cat eye look with a tear mark on their face. They also have long limbs and tails that help them to run fast. Cheetahs are the smallest of the big cat family. The cubs are normally 5 to 10 ounces at birth and about a foot long. Their endangerment is in part blamed on their small size. They weigh only about 80 to 150 pounds and are about 5 to 6 feet long. Cheetahs rely on their superb vision to hunt. The dark tear mark under their eyes help reduce the glare of the sun. Their eyes are shaped differently than humans, giving them a wide-angle view of their hunt. They are able to vocalize calls and chirps of birds, which can confuse prey and allow the cheetah to more easily capture their prey. There are several different subspecies of cheetahs, and they are classified based on their genes and appearance. There's the South African cheetah, the Tanzanian cheetah, the Sudan cheetah, the Asiatic cheetah, and the Northwest African cheetah. Where do cheetahs live? Well, you will find them throughout parts of Africa and Asia, but they are mostly found in Eastern, Central, and Southern Africa, India, and Iran. Cheetahs live mostly in the plains and savanna. They do not like living in dense forests or thickets. They hunt in the tall grasses and um, they eat the animals that are native to that habitat. They prefer light woodlands, steeps, and deserts, and dry areas. How do cheetahs catch their prey? Well, cheetahs like to stalk their prey during a hunt. A cheetah chase of a prey is only usually about 20 to 60 seconds long. They eat quickly to, as to avoid larger predators like lions that will steal their meals. The cheetah chases um, the prey are usually only successful about half of the time. They like to hide while they watch their prey and then sneak up on them. Do che cheetahs need to eat every day? Well, they can actually go up to 10 days without drinking in most cases because much of their water comes from their meat. But cheetahs depend on their meat for survival. Therefore, they have to eat and hunt almost daily. Cheetahs do not require as much water. They normally eat about 6 to 8 pounds of food every day. What special adaptations do cheetahs have to help them hunt? Well, of course, the cheetah has speed to help them catch their prey. Since cheetahs are, small, are a smaller cat, they are able to hide in the tall grasses of the plains for camouflage. Cheetahs also have large nostrils to help them take in more oxygen while running. They can often outrun animals, which makes it very easy for them to catch. Are cheetahs solitary animals, meaning do they like to live be by themselves? Well, that is true. Cheetahs are normally very solitary animals. A female raises her cubs for about a year before they fend for themselves, and males will sometimes live in a small group of their brothers but hunt alone. The female then lives in solitary before she has more babies again. 
a cheetah will mate throughout the year. Females then give birth to a litter of usually two to four cubs. A female che cheetah is pregnant for about three months, and then the female takes care of their uh, babies for about a year. Cheetah cubs are taken care of by their mothers. The cheetah cubs have long, smoky colored fur on their back called a mantle. When they are five to six weeks old, cubs begin hunting with their mothers. The mantle hides them in the tall grass so they are camouflaged from pre predators. The mother moves them every few, every few days to hide them from predators. So a cheetahs are born to a litter of normally two to four cubs and cared for by their mother. A cheetah learns to hunt during its first year of its life. Cheetahs are efficient killers by the age of three and began to reproduce around two years of age. Cheetahs normally live about 10 to 12 years. Cheetah cubs are prey to many other big cats and larger animals, so not many cubs survive past a week. Though the cheetah is by far the most reproductive big cat, they are still endangered. Even when not hunted by other animals, cheetahs are prone to genetic problems, so their bodies and immune systems are not stable enough to fight off diseases which kill them. 90% of cheetah cubs born will die within the first three months of their lives. Cheetahs sleep at night, and they do not have very good night vision unlike most cats. Cheetahs spend their days lounging and hunting and moving between hunting sites. Cheetahs hunt most of the day. When they are not hunting, they are most likely taking a nap. Cheetahs cannot roar like other big cats in the wild, but cheetahs communicate with their cheetah with other cheetahs through head bumping, growling, hissing, and some high pitched chirping noises. Cheetahs can purr much like a house cat. Let's take a second and hear what a cheetah sounds like. Wow, I thought that was so cool. I am so surprised that cheetahs cannot growl. So, I'm going to tell you three really interesting facts about cheetahs. Cheetahs can reach speeds of 70 to 75 miles per hour in short bursts. Fun fact number two, cheetahs love to lounge and take naps. Fun fact number three, cheetahs have semi-retractable claws. All right, boys and girls, that wraps up another Nature Nugget. And remember, like the beautiful book Steps to Christ talks about, we can learn more about Jesus and nature, the green fields, the trees, the flowers. All of it speaks to our heart and invites us to become acquainted with Jesus who made them all, including the very fast cheetah. <laughs>